hello everyone welcome back today we will see how to drag and drop how to drag one element to the source element in selenium using selenium web driver so for seeing the drag and drop functionality we'll take our site i google so search on google i google drag and drop see this is the very first uh, website click on this so here what we will see how to how to drag this block 1 on block 3 see if we are trying to drag on block 3 how to do that or you want to do block 2 here or you want to do block 4 here something like this we want to drag one object to the other object like this so how we can do that so to drag one object onto the other object what we are doing first we are clicking on that this one selecting and then performing drag option right so let's see let's look at the code so to complete this action first we'll start with java class so how we'll create class go to new click right click on the project level new class let's take the class name as demo drag and drop you can take any name and we'll select public static word main so we need not to create the main so this is our class let's start the write let's start writing the code so for very first line we'll set the property to open the browser we'll tell the system where is our browser exists and which browser we are using so we are using chrome browser we'll set that one system dot set property because here we are setting property this is string key string value will take we are using web driver chrome driver so web driver web driver dot chrome driver if you are using firefox you can use gecko driver uh, as per your choice of browser, you can use correspondence uh, driver. I'm using Chrome, so I'm using Chrome driver. Chrome dot driver. Now we'll give the path. Where is this exe path of Chrome driver exist? So in my system, it is here. So I will copy paste this. And we'll give the driver name chrome driver now we'll create the object for chrome driver class so web driver i'm taking a object name as a driver equals to new chrome driver see if you write few words and press control plus space you will get all these options so you have to select accordingly so i am taking as chrome driver now after creating the object we have to maximize the window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize see here we are getting minimize window if you want to minimize and maximize if you want to maximize now what we have to do is 
we have to take the x path we have to locate this element so to locate any element you can either take the x path you can take the id you can take the css select uh, whatever is convenient to you you can take let's take the x see this is our source element which we are planning to drop at block 3 so block 3 is a target element and this is the source element so first we'll take the x path of block 1 x path or css selector or id or name or whatever you want first we will locate this source element so to locate the source element click on this inspect the element and here you click and then click control f <coughs> down in the select control f so you will get this one here you can try whether your lo locator is correct or not so let's see so here block one we are taking right let's take the block one See, will not take the x path of this entire block. Right? Block, complete block will not take it. Because complete block, if you take, it may click here also, it may click here also, it may click here also. You are not sure. Suppose if it is clicking here, you won't be able to drag. To drag element, you need this header header x path right so we'll focus only on header x path see to uh, automate any test case before you have to try it manually once you are thorough in manual then you if you do automation it will be uh, very easy for you suppose here if you don't do proper a manual execution you may take this complete block locator which will not be uh, working and then you will be keep troubleshooting why it is not working i have done all the coding everything correct so better first you try to simulate a test case nicely manually once manual is done then you try to automate it so let's take this locator so i am taking as a x path h1 text i'm taking it as a text function sorry see it is highlighting so it, this is the correct x path so we we'll use this in our code So first, um, to do drag and drop, we need source element. So <clears throat> first, we will save this in a source element. So how we'll do that? Web element because this is a this element is a web element. So we'll take type as a web element. Web element source equals to driver dot find. find by dot x path because we are using x path right so x path will pass it in a double quote because it is we are passing it as a string <clears throat> we have taken this x uh, this x path right so now we have to take the x path of target element so we'll copy and paste same thing here we'll write target and now from here we'll take again target location so how we'll do that see it is block 3 and that was block 1 so i guess only this text change we'll see so instead of 
block 1 we will write block 3 see it is working only see here only one of one is there so it's a unique element and we'll use this one and this will give us <coughs> under the target element so here we got to know about our source and target element now how to do drag and drop to drag and drop it's it's already defined in selenium in action class we need not to write the code especially for drag and drop drag and drop code is already written we have to just implement it it's already there in the actions class so to implement action class what we have to do is we have to create a object of action class so right actions let's take object as a act equals to new new actions see driver now with the help of object we'll call the drag and drop method see here so many methods are there click click and hold context clicking we have to take the drag and drop because we are we have functionality to drag and drop so we'll take this source and tar target anyways we have already defined here if we give suppose source one name then here we have to give source one it's not like always we have to define the same name we can give whatever name for source and target as per our convenience but here we have to give that source name only if we are defining it as a source it's fine otherwise we have to give that same name let's take it only with the same name source and target and now here we are passing uh, in the drag and drop method source and target here we just pass now we have to tell them that perform drag and drop so it's a very simple again same perform name function is there we'll call that that's it let's see <clears throat> whether it's working or not See window is maximized now as we have given maximize function. Oh my god. I guess you guys have got to know why it is not working, why it is not opening any browser. Because here we did not tell C. We give a system set property, everything we did. But we did not tell this source and target and all on which website, on which URL it has to perform. Right? So we have to open the browser also. Correct? We have to open the website also application also so let's take this application and then put it for opening the application we'll give driver dot get url see string url it is coming we'll get this and now we'll pass it as a string Let's see now, it should work. It is initializing. See this time it, it has opened the application because we asked him to open the application. It is loading now it maximized see 
it did it it drag the block one on block three see drag and drop is done so now this browser will be opened but if you want to close the browser at the last you have to give driver dot close that's it if you want to uh, close the browser once uh, functionality is done see here now i am manually closing if you now give driver dot close anyways it will close automatically <coughs> It is loading, it is opening a website. Now it will drag block one on block three and it's closed. You couldn't see the performance because Selenium performs very fast. So if you really want to see, you can put some delay or some thread dot sleep to check. It is not advisable thread dot sleep and all, but if you really want to check see how function is happening step by step clearly you can do that <clears throat> this add those declaration now run it you can see it clearly It's loading, it's open the application. Now it will maximize the window. See, it maximize the window, and now it will drag block one on block three. See, it's done. Now, as we have given thread dot clip, it wait for took some time. As thread dot clip is not advisable, we will comment this line. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Thanks a lot.